More senior politicians in Niger were arrested on Monday as the leaders of a military coup defied international calls to restore democratic rule and reinstate ousted President Mohamed Bazoum. A photo posted by Chad's president, Mohamed Adris Debi, seen on the left who visited to try to mediate between the coup leaders and the ousted government, appeared to be the first image of Bazoum since the takeover, showing him smiling and apparently unharmed. The coup has sent shockwaves across West Africa, pitting Niger's former Western allies against the likes of Russia and other junta leaders in the region. There's a lot of speculation at this point. Annalise Bernard, the director of strategic stabilization advisors, formerly with the State Department in Niger, says there are several theories and rumors for why the coup is happening now, but that military coups are not new to the region. There's a lot of people talking about how this is Nigerians trying to throw off the yoke of their former colonial ties to France and trying to kick out other Westerners. There's also talk that Russia is behind this. We do not have any evidence that that's the case. What we are seeing, obviously, is that the civilian population, specifically in Niamey, the capital, is very loud right now about um, anti-French and anti-Western sentiment. There's obviously, we've seen the Russian flag circulating in some of the protests in the streets. But this is also something that we've seen civil society do any time that there is a protest that takes place in the city, of which there are regular protests in Niamey. The United States, former colonial power France, and other Western countries have troops in Niger and had been working with the government to fight militant forces linked to Islamic State and Al-Qaeda. And the coup has raised fears for the security of the region. Niger was our last bulwark of stability in the region and the country that not just the United States, but a lot of Western partners had invested a lot into. And if Russia does get involved in this one, it undermines, let alone fully dislodges Western efforts and certainly alliances across the entire Sahel Belt. And that is really significant. It was very hard, obviously, when um, that came true in Mali and seems to be coming true in Burkina Faso as well. But Niger seems like the last you know, bulwark of stability before we lost all contact with that entire region. And there's a sense, obviously, within Washington that you know, if Russia is present, it's a very binary relationship. There cannot be a presence of the United States there when, the, when Russia is there. Um, I think that relationship becomes quite binary. So I think that's also kind of the big concern, and certainly. The juntas of neighboring Burkina Faso and Mali voiced their support for the coup on Monday and warned that any military intervention in Niger will be considered a declaration of war against their countries, too. Meanwhile, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of Russia's Wagner mercenary group, has welcomed the coup in Niger and said his forces were available to restore order. The Kremlin, for its part, said on Monday that the situation in Niger was, quote, cause for serious concern and called for a swift return to constitutional order. A United States official on Monday said the coup had not been fully successful and that there was still an opportunity to reinstate Bazoum. France and Germany echoed those comments.